Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about maps that you can make yourself. Right back with you. Right back with you here. And um, today we're in my office and we're going to look at some stuff on my computer because, you know, I'm, I'm working with someone right now. I'm about to give a map, uh, map, uh, map and compass class, okay? And a friend of mine who, um, a good outdoor buddy of mine, we go camping and stuff, this stuff a lot together. Um, he's interested in, um, making, you know, having maps for where he lives and stuff. And there are actually some simple, inexpensive free ways of doing it. You just need to have a little bit more imagination about it, but it's, 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 it's all available online and that's Google maps. Okay. Now there are other apps out there that you can download on your phone, uh, that gives you fixed topographic maps, this kind of stuff. And those are great, but the problem with is the sizing that can be a bit of a problem. It also, uh, these work in real time with satellites, and um, unless you have uh, something that works without satellites, then you're sort of screwed with that, you know. But uh, these these, exi these these exist. The problem is when your phone goes out. I'm a paper map kind of guy. I really like paper maps, and um, I've noticed that in the past 20 years, even the U.S. military still going with paper maps when it comes to their ground troops, this kind of stuff for operations, but they're going with um, high visibility uh, satellite maps also. And um, and a lot of these, this gave me the idea that why don't I just go ahead and make myself up some maps of, for like, for example, if I'm going to go to a town or something like that or, 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 or city or something like that, or it's in the area that I'll be, I could possibly want to visit or something like that if, just in case or go see somebody, or go get to somebody just in case, you know, uh, shit is a fan or whatever, you know. Now, I'm not a very big shit is a fan person. I just, you know, I, I sort of live this lifestyle because not as a survivalist, but as just a, a just living my life and um, and using all I, my plans are to use the same experience and, and, and steps I use on a daily life to, to get myself through whatever other things that will happen. And one of these things, like I said, if I'm going to go travel somewhere and, and um, um, I will, you know, I like, okay, of course, I like, I like using my phone if I'm in a city it's like that. Uh, but uh, I don't like pulling my phone out so much in cities because it's sort of, you know, it's okay to talk on them. But if you're using them to, to you look like a tourist too much or you look like, um, you know, or it's so easy for someone to walk up and just take your phone out of your hand because you're concentrating on your phone. But if you have a piece of paper in front of you, of course, you're going to look much more, more out of, out of, uh, out of the, the step with it as being a tourist, but, um, someone runs off of that, <laughs> you haven't lost much. Okay. But what I do is I suggest that, for example, if you're working in an area, um, or an area that you plan on, you, you, you know, that you have as part of your Bob or whatever your escape route or whatever your plan is, your evacuation route to a certain area, um, if there are cities or towns along that way, first of all, you're going to want to avoid those, those areas. Okay. But let's say you got to get into the city to get to, let's say a relative your, or your kids or your mom or, 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 you know, you have a point of contact there. What I suggest you do is make up, uh, you go to Google maps and you make up, um, maps from that. Okay. So all along with that. I just dropped the phone. So I'm doing this twice. <laughs> So here we are. Um, this is a, a Google map, a satellite photograph of my local village. This is Romo in Switzerland, uh, in Canton Fribourg. I don't live in Romo. I used to live in Romo. I lived actually right here, right in this house. Huh. I don't see it so well now. Oh yeah, it's okay. I see it now. I live in this house right here. This is my garden right there in the back garden. So I lived right there actually. And I lived there for, I don't know, six, six years, something like that. And then I lived above the post office for uh, for a year also when I first moved to Romo. Romo's a really nice city, but we're not going to get into that. But what I have done is I have basically done a, um, a photocopy of this uh, image right here. And if you look down here in the bottom, you'll see it says, it says, um, 50 meters, just measure here. So what I've done is that when you make this photo exact, uh, um, I do a, it's a, it's a, it's a, you know, you, it's a, um, it's Apple command space and four, then you get an image. 
okay, that comes out of it. And the image that came out of it is the exact same image of what you have, okay? And I'm going to open this up. It's going to take a second here, I guess. Oh, here we go right here. It's the same, it's the same image I have. So if I move them, I can put them right over one another, and it's the same image I already have here, okay? Um, and why is this not? Yeah, here we go. There we go. This is it right there. So, and what I've done is I took, I've taken this image here on the bottom. I've measured this out. I've moved this over here and just quickly put in a, this range here from this line to this line right here. You can do whatever you want to find out what works best for you. Okay. It doesn't have to meet any kind of super, anybody else's standard, but what works for you. And I just put it on the bottom. So that way I can take my, my, um, my compass, if I, if I print this out, and I can, uh, oh, maybe you hear my compass going on. I can measure this, okay, and I know that two centimeters, two centimeters is 50 meters on this map right here. So that's actually pretty good information to have, okay? No, two centimeters is 50 meters on this map right here, okay? So that, that means I can, you know, if I want to, if I need to get into this village right here, this is an example, and I need to get to where I used to live, for example, uh, I determine which routes I'm going to take. Now, for the outskirt land area, you know, around this, I'm not using this. I'm using regular topographic maps. And in a topographic map, you have a 124,000 scale map of this village right here, which is quite good too. But so if you notice right here, this village right here has all the a few more details on it, names of stuff, restaurants, road names, just kind of like that, which actually come in handy, okay? So this is just an example of something I did. You can do this right here with cities. Now, of course, it'd be a, it's going to be a lot, a lot bigger, and you'd have to um, do these segment by segment and overlap them together, and you can either store this in a, a, lam in a lamination um, or you can uh, treat it with a waterproofing, um, um, waterproofing spray or something like that, or you can just take them and just stick them inside a Ziploc bag or a map case, whatever, and you have them on you. And what you can do is you can write on top of them what it, what it is. I've, wrote, written, I've written this top of it here, Romonville, and I know that what I have in there is, is what you see. So this is just an example, um, and um, I think it's not a bad idea. Um, like I said, if it's an area that you, when you're coming up with your maps or your, your, your bug out, wherever areas you're going to go to, um, you can do this all along the way even. You can actually, you know, if it's not a very huge distance and if you have the time and you can do these, you can make these maps up yourself and they will work, okay? Uh, one thing is for sure on this map, you know the top of the map sheet is north. So we can easily go into here and add, you know, I can go in here and I could add, um, um, you know, um, a line on here. Uh, let's see. I don't, I'm not the, the greatest on this kind of stuff here. I'm still working on getting all this stuff, you know, how, how to do all this kind of stuff. Um, let's see here. Um, yeah, here, you can sketch, you know, and you can sit here and just do uh, do a sketch. And let's see, right here, you can put this right here on there. I don't know if that worked or not. There we go. I can change the color. I can make it uh, red or on the outside of it. And then I know that, well, somewhere in there, oh, my finger's blocking it. I can put north, you know. Uh, I don't know if, that, if that's working or not here. Well, I gotta play with it a little bit more, <laughs> but you get the idea. You can also do this manually. You do not have to to uh, go in here and, um, and uh, um, and do this, you know, you don't have to, you know, to do this, uh, you know, on the computer, you can do it manually and it works just, just as well. It works, you know, it, this stuff right here, you know, it, it doesn't have to be rocket science here. Okay. And it will, it will work fine. Okay. So anyway, I haven't changed anything. I just, just undid it, but anyway, and you can print this out. If you have a nice printer, my printer is not really printing out right now very well. It, it's, it's a, I need to get these. You probably you can take it down, take it down somewhere, you know, and get it, have it printed up. These things, you know, and then what you could do is actually you can load them onto your phone or you know, it's photographs, or you can load them onto, and, and that that works pretty well also. The only problem with technology is that you know, if if it uh, in, in if they cut out the satellites or something like that, which happens, 
or if satellites just go down or you don't have a power to, to recharge your phone, you don't have this ability, then you're sort of stuck. So it's good to have this stuff on paper. Well, Cooper's in there complaining and, uh, and, and do it that way. Anyway, just an idea. I, um, I'm going to keep playing with this right here and I'll get back with you guys a little bit later on it, but, uh, um, give me your ideas about this. Let me know what you think about this. I, I'd really be interested and leave comments down below. What do you use? What do you do? I mean, I'm, like I said, I'm a paper map kind of guy. I have used programs on my phone that, um, that are basically topographic maps on my phone, this kind of stuff. I just, they take up so much space on the phone though. Um, and I know that that's the phone could go out. So I, I prefer to have things in a paper form. And that's what you see here. You see my paper form. It says also, it says Romo. But this is also this is a 125,000 scale map of the region, and it works for me perfectly. But uh, this right here can, can really help you out too. Anyway, thanks a lot. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked the video, if it was helpful. Uh, leave a comment down below. Please share with your friends and enemies, and um, I subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you very soon. Goodbye.